mics are on. All right. So can you mute that? Okay. Awesome. Hey, everyone. Welcome Ooh. to the replay. If you're joining us for the replay, um, hello, YouTube. Hello, Facebook. We are so glad you are here. Mm -hmm. It is beautiful and it is sunny. Jill just said she's a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> I am ready for summertime. I am ready to be done with all of this social distancing. Mm -hmm. So first and foremost, we have had an interesting day. So we got our cameras. Mm -hmm. We got our mics. Cameras, no bueno. Cameras, Me, are, they work, mm -hmm. but... One That's of the a very been... loose term, yeah. but the mics work and we were testing them out. So let us know what the volume is like and if you can hear us. I am super tired because I was up at 6 a.m. because of um, I'm trying to take oral steroids to get rid of my pain. We'll see, right? Um, so anyways, uh, super happy. We're going to do a fun project today and Ali says I look fabulous, but guess what? So normally I would wear some beautiful coral shorts with this, but when I went to button my coral shorts, even when I go, they don't fit. Back on a liquid diet. <laughs> All right, guys. So um, are you posting a job, Sean? No, I'm, I hit the wrong thing and I'm just trying to see. I was gonna say, are, are we hiring? We are, see, right there, live. Right there. Yep, I, just, I just saw it. There we go. So anyways, um, we are so excited. We are going to um, have our new cameras up. We'll let you know when those come. Mm -hmm. They are very nice. They zoom in, they zoom out. We have nice mics, so hopefully you can hear us. I'm not overmodulated and I'm not in the red because I have my own dial now. Um, so we're doing a fun project. And if you want to win this project, look for the post tomorrow. We'll give it away. It will be oh, super fun. That's a good idea. She says, every time I walk away, you would die. You wouldn't hear me. So since I don't have a microphone on me, oh, yeah. it should be fine. So if I walk away, you won't hear me as I leave the room. It's heaven. It's heaven. Like if he's, it's just the Ken show then. <laughs> the way it's supposed to be. Um, I have no idea what this bruise is from. We don't know. No. I don't know. All right. Who knows? So. Let's show you quickly first what we're doing. So number one, um, we, uh, can we go to this camera, Sean? Yeah. So Sean sometimes has delayed reactions when we ask him to do things. And when I ask him to do things and I get short, the hate comments come. So just know it's because he doesn't listen. <laughs> Is this true or not? Oh yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Just saying. Anyways, uh, let's talk about these. We have a new catalog coming out next month. I'm super excited for the catalog. Um, this is our spring and summer. So if you want stuff in here, unless it's already retired, you need to get it now because there is some good stuff in here that is no more. Like one of my favorite patterns is gone, Sean. Modern oh, floral. Retired. Gone. So sad. So this one will be ending. This one is our celebrations catalog. This will go through until um, the end of August or until items retire. And I've been trying to keep you guys updated. So if you want some of this stuff, especially if you want some of these in vogue paste colors, which are these ones up here, you're going to want to stock up because when they're gone, they're gone. Um, also, don't forget we have a Kickstarter, the Creative Kickstarter. So Creative Kickstarter is on my website. You can go check it out. Um, you can get the D size transfer, um, which is when you focus on the good, the good gets better. Mm -hmm. And then there is one that is the B size transfer that is lift where you stand and it comes with a board, a squeegee, and two piece singles. So you wanna get those uh, before those are gone. Um, we've got a ton of questions on joining Club Couture, all that. So I want to break it down really quick. If you were thinking about joining as a designer and you think, oh, I think I would really like to do Chalk Couture. Looks like you guys are having fun. Do wait until July 1st. And here's why. As much as I would love for you to join the team today and welcome you and get you your 40% off and your 15% off extra coupon, the way our quarters work at Chalk Couture is you get your first quarter waived. 
So if you were to join right now, you'd be in quarter two, you would get your first quarter wave, but it ends June 30th. So if you wait till July 1st, join as a designer then, you will get all of July, August, September waived. So you really wouldn't have to meet your minimum designer requirements until the end of December. No, it should be, yay. And hopefully we won't be stuck inside. Um, so that's it. Number two, um, Club Couture. Yes, we have a Club Couture program. We have an exclusive Facebook. We do a live. In fact, we did one this weekend. It was a ton of fun. It was about two and a half hours. We played with a lot of glitter. We did four projects. We've already given away those projects and sent them. Um, so if you're interested in Club Couture, uh, not only do you get access to our Facebook page and our YouTube, you get to be part of our community that's over 150, and you get super exclusive sales, specials, deals. They are so good. I cannot say them in a public setting. You cannot. Or I get hate mail. Yes, you do. I do. So anyways, uh, you can reach out and PM us on that one. And then, of course, you can always just shop and try it out. If you're going to shop and you're not sure if you like it, we do have Try Me Kits. Mm -hmm. They're also on our specials tab. So, all right. So today we are going to be having some fun. I am definitely in the summer mode. We have been rainy all freaking month. It doesn't even feel like summer. In fact, Sean posted this up to his Facebook yesterday saying, this is what we had last year. Where is this weather? That was actually five years ago, but still. He's like an old Where's man. I'm just saying. Kids Where's get off my lawn. He complains about everything and anything yeah. he can. Anyways, uh, so today's been sunny. We had a barbecue over for Father's Day, and my brother has a little tiki stand, and I was just in this summery mode. So we are going to make a tiki god. This is actually a series of four. Now, I am going to do a little plug here. Many of you know that a Ken's Creations channel that is out there, where I focus on crafts and machine reviews and Ken from the car, that channel is getting rebranded to... Ken's beautiful, crazy life. The reason I'm bringing this up is we are doing things a little differently. Today, we already have all of our stuff prepped and ready to go, but we want to show you the behind the scenes on how we get stuff ready. We want to show you our Glowforge. We want to show you how we paint, the techniques, and all that stuff. So we're going to be doing a lot of part one, part two videos, meaning part one would be on Ken's beautiful, crazy life. This is going to be the surfaces, how did we paint them, all of that good jazz, um, how did we cut them, that whole process. Then part two, which will usually be the next day, would be then on this Chalk Couture mm -hmm. channel, and that would be the Chalk Couture pieces. Yes. So, um, so if you want the best of both worlds, you want to make sure you're subscribed to that channel. If you're already subscribed to Ken's Creations, you're good to go when we do all the rebranding. Bada bing, bada boom. So, Love it. So before anyone asks, number one, this uh, surface was cut on the Glowforge. Number two, I do not have a file for it, but you can find it on a popular market that rhymes with Metsy. Um, number three, um, we cut it and we paint it with uh, a brand of paint that we have been playing with now. It's a uh, Dixie Bell paint. We'll show you the colors as we bring this in. So everything's been painted. Um, I did discover a much better way of painting. We were using foam brushes. Sean went to Home Depot and found foam rollers, which he'll show you. Mm -hmm. So much better. You don't waste as much paint. It goes on nice and smooth. I love it. Um, second of all, if you want to see more on the Glowforge, make sure you really are subscribed to our other channel because a lot's coming. So anyways, okay, Sean. All right. If you guys have any questions, make sure it is in bold so Mr. Sean McCoy can see oh, it. Hello, Miss Ellen. Um, we had a question from our favorite, favorite male lady, Kate. She says, do we oh. have tropical? Hi, and I'm Kate. thinking that do we have tropical um, transfers or anything? Um, we do, but a lot of them are retiring because we're getting into my favorite catalog, which is the fall winter. Um, it's the best catalog ever. I mean, all of my catalogs are favorite, but mm -hmm. it's particularly Christmassy and stuff. So we will have some floral designs. Um, we do have some smaller ones, but a lot of the stuff that is older has already been um, retired. Miss Marple, Jill, hello. Do you have, know if any if the mini tags are discontinuing? I the mini tags. Are you talking about like our tags? I'm assuming. I'm assuming. I don't think so. No, I don't. If anything, they, they'll they retire the transfer, but I think that... I, I don't know. That's why I love convention, because we get to learn all this coolness. 
All right, so we're gonna play with the Live Deeply. Now this is a chalk story. If you guys don't know what a chalk story is, they're in the front of the catalog. Mm -hmm. A chalk story, let me show you guys real quick. A chalk story is particularly important. And why is that? Because you can pretty much bet your bottom dollar that they won't be here tomorrow. Um, so the octopus is gone. I think these might be gone. The coral is still available, but um, the octopus like sold out and retired. So chalk stories are designed to give you basically a story. So you can walk into a room, all the pieces coordinate with each other so you can mix and match and they would say one story. So as long as you're utilizing everything on this page um, in the same color scheme, you can go from your pillows to notebooks to decor and all that stuff. I love the Live Deeply and I'm not a big under the sea person, but I did love that one. So we are gonna start playing with that. Still said yes to tags, that's what you were talking about. So those should still, I, I'm assuming unless they announce something at um, TalkCon. But I don't think they're going, I don't, I wouldn't imagine. All right, so we are going to start with um, this. So I did cut this off. This is the background of our little tiki lava god. Now this is the lava god. So since he's the lava god, I thought, well, coral basically is lava, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to do some lava and then we're going to do some bubble wrap. Yes. Isn't that fun? All right. So I'm just going to put this um, basically where we can see the majority. So I probably am going to want to do right in the center mm, where do i want to do this sean whatever you're a little hard to do i think we need to see the edges of the coral don't you mm -hmm. like that or should i have it go off what do you think because that's going to be a lot of black it will be a lot of black if you're doing black okay so I won't do black. I'll do black on another thing. So do I have to get the edges or can I? Yeah, I do. I need the edges. So I think what we'll do is we're going to move it to where it kind of gives me as much of the edges as I can see. Hmm. This is where I get to have fun and move our transfer to different places. Because I really want to see those edges of this lava coral. What do you think, Shawnee? To get the edges in there, like right, right about, like right about there. There you go. Like right there. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this will be all uh, uh, that pretty pink. Yeah. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so it's kind of crooked, but that's okay. I'm not mad at that. But I don't want. I want to do edges over here. So I think I'm just going to do that. All right, so this is going to be in this beautiful, um, we're going to do this in this nice current jam. Or should we do raspberry sorbet? What do you think? Darker color for the coral? Probably darker. Or do we want it closer to the raspberry? Oh, so many options, Sean. So many. All right, so I think we'll do the darker. So we're just going to have some fun with it. We're not looking for a perfect. In fact, I kind of want it to be a little bit more. So while he's doing that real briefly, this is what we were talking about. Um, these are the high density foam. We used them all. They're actually drying because you don't use them unless you're washing. So the smooth surface with a um, this kind of a handle. They do make a long version of this and a short. This is the short one, which is the one you'd want with this one. And if uh, we also we ran out of them, so we need another one. So I also we also bought the kind of like the small version of a uh, of the uh, fabric style roller. So this works as well, and that's what we uh, did. All these uh, pieces was this way, and it's much faster and easier. Mm -hmm. Current jam, Lori yells. Current jam. All right, so I am going to go ahead and dry this right away. All right, now 
we're going to kind of flip this around and get some of, how's the mic sounding? Um, is Sean, is your microphone on? I don't speak very loudly. So now you guys now know why. Learn to speak listen, loudly. now you guys know why I'm always in the red zone because he has to turn it up so much for you guys to hear him that it overmodulates me. Mm -hmm. And then he sits there and says, "You need to talk softer." Well, now that we have these mics, guess what? He's the I one has to change because he's realizing, oh, maybe um, the microphone's right here in front of me. It it's because he is there. such a he is. A soft speaker. That's I am. I'm, a lot of people always say, what? what? Exactly. Where I'm the complete opposite. So we are just playing with, we're not trying to get a perfect transfer by any means. So we're just going to mix the raspberry sorbet and the current jam. And if it starts drying and peels up, that's okay. Because we're kind of going for that nice broken lava, lava look, I guess. Lava, lava look. And um, the way we got to this color, did you show them? Because we had to mix two colors to get to this. To this one? Yeah. Because um, yes, I wanted it to be as close to raspberry sorbet and currant jam as possible. So we used these two colors, Lucky Lavender and Beanie, are the two that we mixed to get this color here. And try to hold this real quick. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have to get maybe a sign or uh, once again emojis or something. I can we can do like a ear sound for Sean to know that he needs to speak louder. <laughs> Hola, Melissa. All right, so I'm gonna dry this really good. And if you love this, we're going to be doing a couple more once our new channel branding happens. So stay tuned. But this is what I love about Chalk Couture is it gives us the versatility to do so much. And the whole reason I had you hold it. Well, you had it, but then you pulled it away from me. Oh, yeah. you guys <laughs> love that? You guys see where that passive aggressiveness comes out? It's fun, isn't it? Um... Darlene says, where do you come up with all these projects? What goes in on, in on that mind? Um, so I always start with the surface. Or, well, yes and no. Um, I always start with, I guess the best way to explain it is something different. I like to do different, and I like different surfaces. Um, and usually it's always in regards to an experience. So literally this came because we were at my brother's house he literally has a tiki bar they're mm -hmm. big disney fans and he was just talking about it and i was said to him oh i'm thinking about making some tiki signs and he was like uh yes my wife wants tiki signs so but i you know we don't have a tiki one so i had to come up with a cool surface so we're just doing a mixture of current jam and raspberry sorbet which is two great colors and a really good clash on here and then once we lift it up we can see where we still need some oh, we're good down here so we just mm -hmm. need some up here and up there okay can i have you hold that Clean this up. All right, so let's put, what you're gonna do, nice. What do you think up there, there, and then the kind of one right, that should be a good coverage. Get the rest of that, what do you think? I like it. I like it a lot. He likes it, you hear it guys? He likes it a lot. All right, so we're gonna start with a little bit of current jam up here in this corner, and then 
Once again, I'm not trying for a perfect transfer. I kind of want it to be broken and look like it's a lot of different coral. Kind of a messy look. Yeah, kind of. I guess that's what you could say, messy. There we go. Ta da! Love it. Do you think any more? Or good. No, we're good. Okay, we're good. I'm gonna let you do that. I'm gonna go clean it. I'm going to dry this, but I'm gonna mute it so you don't have to hear that loud thing. So be quiet for a second. Yeah, that should be better. And now a little cleanup. Oh, there they are. Since it's messy, messy, messy. All right. Yeah, if you have not used uh, Dixie Bell paint, it's primo. Dries very nicely. You typically only need one coat unless you're wanting a different you know, a thicker look to it, I guess, or whatever, but one coat and it's beautiful. Nancy knows, she uses it. That is a hot mess. It almost is a hot mess. Sometimes you can do the hot mess by using your finger and kind of blending it in. Blending it in. You're welcome, Sandra. And hello, Triva. Kind of nice that we can actually see people's faces. It's uh, I think Restream is have either an update or something, so it looks much better to be able to see you guys. So hopefully the microphones are better. And um, we saw the camera; the camera looks great. But these um, what they call a, a, a capture card uh, didn't work with the cameras we bought. So part that we could see looked great, but then they had these big, bad white lines going through our video and going, this doesn't work right. So we had to re or we had to order new ones and they're more expensive, which is really sucky, but Hey, to make it look good, but yeah, the zoom is going to be really good. The picture quality should be very, very good. So can't wait. Can't wait. They should be here in a couple days, probably by Friday. The, the new, uh, capture cards will be here. All right. All right. I will never apologize for taking too long watching a transfer because just with our board erasers, can you go to the other camera real quick? Mm -hmm. So Current Jam is one of the hardest colors to get off. I use Current Jam and Raspberry Sorbet and you cannot even tell that this transfer was used. Take the time, do one side, flip it over, do the other side, use our board erasers, no detergent, no Lysol wipes, just use those board erasers. Make mm -hmm. sure to clean both sides. And Important. you will get way more use out of your transfers. Excellent. All right. So we are going to now make sure that this is nice. Put those over there. We have to make sure this is nice and dry, dry, dry. All right, so we're gonna add another texture here. So what I'm gonna do is grab just, you can use anything. I just have one of these that we got at uh, Harbor Freight. Freight. Harbor Freight, Sean says. And I'm gonna take a little bit of our black velvet. Can you go to the other camera, Sean? Thank you. Um, so I'm gonna go to the black, a little bit of black velvet and we're gonna just kind of do it in some stripes here in different patterns like so, and then we're gonna add a little bit of grige, which at first I was like, grige, that's such a fancy name. And Sean was like, it's gray and beige. And I was like, 
All right, thanks for ruining the parade. And then I'm just gonna spritz it with a little bit of water. And then just kind of get this really nice lighter black, which is gonna be more predominant. So we'll add a little bit more of the grays in. So we have some nice black here. I'm gonna bring us a little bit over here, cut into it so it's in different places, just like that, and grab some more grayish. Hi everybody that's just now joining us. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna spritz it with a little bit more water here, just like that. And all I'm doing is taking bubble wrap, everyday bubble wrap, and we're gonna gently push it into our paste mixture. And I'll have him hold on to that real quick. And then I'm just gonna take this wherever I want and once you put it down, you don't want to move it. You just want to press it. I'm going to move that out of the way. Clean up my mess. And if I had my, uh, I need actually that. Thank you. All right, so we're gonna just basically redo this process a little bit more here. And then obviously I can see where I'm lacking, so I'll just, and I'm just gonna continue to go down with it before this paste dries. You're not looking for perfection, you're actually looking for kind of that messy, look. Okay, so we're going to give that, I'm going to wash this. Sean's going to hold that and then I have a few more spots I want to hit. So I'm going to wash and dry. Thank you, Sean. Mm -hmm. So the nice thing on chalk paste is it dries extremely quick. And I'm gonna try to get just in some spots here that's missing without messing up more. Where else did you say? Oh, Sean's always the one that will tell me where I've messed up in life. I've messed up. I'm kidding. <laughs> and then just some along the bottom. Yep. Perfect. Nice. So we can throw away the bubble wrap. Or wash it if you want, because you don't have a lot of it. And I'm going to go put this in. I'm and gonna we clean, that. clean this up. Soon this tabletop will be redone. It's going to be really beautiful. So I will uh, always tell you guys, look beyond, obviously um, our transfers are um, amazing. I love our chalk transfers, but I love our Chalkology paste mm -hmm. and I love how versatile it is. So for those of you who remember, we had a Disney castle, all these characters that we use just a uh, dishcloth to give it a nice watercolor look. This is bubble wrap. Think outside of what you can use. It's awesome. It's going to add, I always tell people, sometimes nice and neat is great, but this, when you actually see the whole piece together, I really wanted the Tiki God to pop out. So you really want depth in the background. And it, since it's lava, I wanted it to feel like it was, you know, like Ariel under the sea. Under the sea. Darling, it's better. Down where it's better. Take it from me. Take it from me. 
All right, Johnny, you can show the finished result there. I'm going to turn on my Ryobi. Here you go. So we're going to give our Ryobi a few minutes to heat up. And this. Yes, this is wood uh, that we cut this out. Yep. So we can go back down to this camera. This is actually the base of it. So this is where um, the tiki will be. Can you cover this for me? Yeah. Thanks. Um, and then let me grab all of my other pieces here. So we have all of our pieces right. Oh, sorry, Sean, are you okay? There, so this is actually going to frame him. Um, and so what I'm going to do is um, lay this out first and make sure we're good to go. And we painted all these and dried it, but it should line up perfectly. And it does. And everything else will be built around this. Now this board that I have is a little bit warped, which will be okay. But anytime you're dealing with a warped board, think of it going on a wall. Do you want it to be warped in or do you want it to be worked out, Sean? Um, if this is gonna be hung on a wall, I would want the warp to be warped out, but your, your subject should be on the warped out. Yep. You can try to bend it. This is pretty um, cheap wood. Yeah, it's, um, and uh, it's when we, wood. yeah, when we add heat to it, it should flatten out, but if not, it's all good. Yes, Amber. Um, she asks, did we cut this on the Blowforge? We did. We did. And when we get the new channel up and running, you'll be able to get to watch it or see it either live or edited. So this, um, you guys know, is one of my favorite tools. And like I said, this will go right to the outside. So essentially putting this together is like a puzzle. Mm -hmm. You're just going to follow the puzzle pieces. So we have to make sure that everything's going to fit. So if you are scared and you don't want to chance it, and you're like, ooh, I think I'm going to get it to fit, but I'm not sure, grab some of your placement tape or... Um, I'm running low on placement tape, so I'm going to use my purple tape. So I'm just going to put this as my hot glue gun is heating up. So this way I know that it's perfect fit. What are you trying to do? Oh. Angle squeegee. All right. We're good. Yay. Let's start gluing. So a couple things on glue. Oh, maybe it's not ready. Yet. Nope. I don't see a drip that is not ready. Oh, it's coming. Um, you want to put enough, but you don't want it to get where it it smushes out the sides. Oozes. Oozes. You don't want the ooze. Darlene asks, do we use the Gorilla Glue Sticks? Do I use them? We, have, um, we haven't used them because we have a big giant box that we have to go through. Yeah, so I haven't used them. I've heard good things about them. Yeah. But they're kind of expensive. They and are. Even their tape is expensive, but it's good glue. Yeah. Um, to be honest, um, the super glue I would actually use with this, this is quick drying, um, I ran out of. So it is no more. Um, not that I don't like hot glue gun, but it depends on... When I get down to the smaller pieces, just um, you just don't want a lot of glue. Com I mean, it's not a big deal. Glue will come off, but I prefer to have that super glue and it dries in like 30 seconds. But I ran out when we were doing, I think, my chalk couture or the club couture, wasn't it? Or Yes. Or was it last week? I think I it was chalk couture. Right. So the nice thing on this glue gun, which is one of my favorite things, is... It comes out so hot that you have a little bit of time. Yeah, few seconds. Few seconds. Um, I will say though, once it dries, you are not going to want to pull it off, especially if you're using um, a cheap piece of wood like we are, because um, it will completely splinter it. Kim says, only the Ninja Turtles like the ooze. Yes, I was going to say that, but then I was like, no one's going to get that, because that was a 90s movie. Yeah. Actually, an 80s. 
So just to let you know, the border and some of the other lighter colors was done with what's called lemonade. And I should have used my tape method because I'm a little bit off. That's why you should use the tape method, Sean. Should you? But I was just too impatient. Where's it um, off? It's this one. The first one I put down. So we're going to go ahead and shimmy this one in. Ooh, that's another good reference. Shimmy, shimmy. What's that from, Sean? Is it from something? Shimmy, shimmy, go, go, pop. It's like it main part of the movie. I'm trying to think, but they I dance on a piano in a toy store. Was that from Big? Yes. Oh, this was. Um, Miss Fatima, she asks, did you use a miter saw to get the gray corners on the frames? We did not. We used the Glowforge did that. Glowforge cut everything. It did. There we go. Now my piece isn't so mad at me. And luckily, this was the first one I put down, so the glue was not ready. This works. So it Fabulous. absolutely um, is good. So Sean just handed me the paste scraper. Ooh, that does. Yeah. So our paste scraper is actually designed for um, getting paste off dry boards. And people all the time say, Ken, we never see you use your paste scraper. It's because all of our boards, we auction off. So we are never <laughs> taking stuff off. Nope. So Sean has found an alternative use. Yes. All right, much better. Wow. Oh, the lava god is very, very happy. All right. So it's not perfect because I, once again, not patient. All right, so the next piece we're going to pop in is going to be this piece. Now all of these should fit perfectly inside. So we can add glue, but really it's such a tight fit. Yeah, it's gonna probably won't even need it. Yeah. So if you want to though, I would just say like in the main areas. So we'll just add a little bit like right here, maybe some right here and here. Just in these big open areas where it might Kim Kim says she's a nerd too. That's why she knows it. <laughs> No what? No, the um, Ninja Turtle thing. Secret of the Moose. That was the second one, actually. Yes. But that's okay. Which a lot of people didn't like. I liked the second one. It was very campy. I did not like the third one. The whole ninja thing where they are actually go back and become samurais. It's very weird. Look at Scissor Paper Paul's... Uh, I know. Emoji. That's a, probably Omar. That looks very much so like an oh, Omar yeah, art. It looks like an Omar art, yep. An Omar original. Me and Omar go way back. Yep. We had a stamp line. Did you guys know that? Yep. A little funness in your day. Did you know Ken and Omar had a stamp line back in the day? Oak tree. And then... Stood for Omar and Ken. And Omar. then I got fired from close to my heart. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, guess I can't do that. Oh my gosh, it's looking so good. All right, so we're just going to continue... Once again, it is just a puzzle. We have three more of these to do. That are going so to be... be... videos. It could be the other one too, I'm not sure. It doesn't look like that though, because this is... Oh yeah, maybe. It looks... So the another trick to this is when you paint these, yeah, it's got to be this one. When you paint these, make sure you know which way, because we take tape off, because... If this doesn't, that means that me have flipped on me by accident without even knowing. I don't know. I literally told I know, him, I it is so important I know. to make sure you paint these the right way. So, Sean... If it flipped, then it flipped. Okay, but if, if this is the case, you are not watching TV while working anymore. <laughs> this is, happens all the time. And then he's like, oh, maybe it did flip. So as you can see, the key really is to make sure you paint it because when it comes down to stuff like this, you might have flipped both of them. Oh, 
That one's got to go here. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Hmm. I just do not know what he did. What did you do, Mr. Sean? Ah! So that one's good. This one is bueno. The the bueno. We're okay on this one, Tronny. Sweet. Okay. Just layer it on. Just layer it on top to the side. It would have gotten to that, and then we would have fought about it because. There are times, I'm not going to say all the time, but there are times where Mr. Sean gets so swept with his TV show that his time doing that certain project, and when I say, Sean, why can't I clean the kitchen in 20 minutes and it takes you an hour? Well, you're just faster than me. Do you see me watching TV? No, I never see you watching TV in the kitchen. Hmm. Hmm. Kim says she was born in 1980. That's a long, like Me you. too! I can't believe you didn't know the big reference. I was like, the best part of that whole movie was the Chimmy Chimmy Pop. It was so long ago. It's it wasn't that long ago. You make it sound like we were... That was... Well, I guess it was kind of a bit of time ago. So this one could have flipped. Oh! No. Well then. Oh. Didn't flip. Oh. Yay. Sean, you get the last word tonight. So this is what I was saying. It really is like a puzzle. You, It will be a perfect fit. All right. So up here is going to be our little, this is, I guess, the lava part of him. Flame. Flame on. What? Is that from a comic book thingy? Okay, so that's why I don't know. So my other idea with this, but Sean said it was too much work, would have been to um, cut out two of the little Tiki God and then have him actually sit up from the background. But we could still do that. Um, Sean was like, well, then you're cutting twice and you're going to waste come that material. So that's where I had, if you're not going to pop it out, do that texture because I really wanted him to to shine from the background. All right. We're slowly making progress, Sean. Let's put in his teeth so he can eat. Yum, yum, yum. So scissors paper ball says big birthday this year. It is a big oh year. yeah, we were gonna go see Kelly Clarkson in Vegas, and then it got canceled because of the Kobo, the coronavirus, ruining my life. Oh, okay. So fun fact: we discovered they don't actually give you part of the file on the teeth. You just have to color that in yourself. Just so annoying. Spitterweb. Sean does not like right. spitterwebs. Darlene asks, so freaking cute. Will it cut? Will it only cut wood or foam too? It'll cut a whole bunch of stuff. We so, Darlene, what I will say before Sean goes crazy and gets me reported to compliance is <laughs> you might want to subscribe to my other channel. Yes. Because that's where we will be showing a ton of stuff. All right, so we have his little eyebrows, which are right here and here. Make sure this goes here, this goes here. And it does not, if we had the super glue, which I love, it's called, I forget the name of it. I'd have to go find it. It's 30 okay. second set super glue. It's a blue one. Oh, the blue one. Yeah. yeah, it literally sets in 30 seconds. Um, we wouldn't use the glue gun. I could use that and it'd be perfect. All right, so his eyes which once again are a perfect. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you do the right ones in the right spots. Cause even though they look like they should fit, you just never know. Oh, magically there's a glue stick on there. It wasn't that long. Hmm. Now it is. 
Amazing. Did you water it and it grew? Could have. Uh oh. Uh oh. Better do something quick. Hopefully it's this one. Nope. Oh wait, do they go? Uh, let me pull up the... I think it goes like this. Hopefully. There you go. Looks like that. Oh no. Maybe next time I'll mark them. Might be a little easier. Oh, this one definitely goes over here. Definitely. So Lydia says, what's, what is the other channel? The other channel. The uh oh. Other, the other channel. Can you please um, go back to my photo? Cause I don't, yes. I think I did mess this up. So it should it should be right. It's not. Unless, yeah, it's not. See. Okay. Well, learning experience number one. Next time, I think we're gonna mark them on the back because I thought this will be easy. Just you know, and wada bing, bada boom. Not easy. So this is what hot glue will do to it. So we're gonna take this pen blade and get that glue. Oh, this pen blade is seen better day, Sean. Okay, I'm gonna have to bring out my, my big mamma jamma. Where is it? Hopefully. Ooh, these are so sharp, so the only thing that can make the true control blade better from Cricut is it would be retractable, but they are sharp. Jill states the smaller part, the smaller piece of the eye goes on the outside. All right. So then this one, can I see my photo again, please? See how the big longer pieces are down here? So it goes up here? See this? The long piece of the eye goes to the bottom, the short one goes to the top. And you're right with this. This is that part, like they're saying this. Okay, so, so do it. So they're saying the... Got it, do it. So the smaller part goes in the eye. And then that just yeah. goes in the eye. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's yeah. What, yeah, that's what they're saying. Okay, then do it. Me? Yeah. Why me? Because you're awesome to critique me and say, do this, Ken, and you're doing it wrong. So do no, it. Show I was, me. I was just saying what they were saying. I, I'm listening. So show me how it's done. It might be that the eyes might be backwards. Could be. Can I see the yes. photo? This is when next time I'm going to mark them. Oh, yep. I think you're right. Uh-oh. Is that what you think it is? This one is correct. Are you sure? Because this is the thicker one. I should have marked these. You have the thicker one on this side. So this eye is correct, ready to go. This one needs to be flipped. But it's weird that it didn't fit in that one. Right? That's what I'm saying is, is these don't... Oh, that's a tight fit. That's why. Woo-wee. I'm going to have to get this one up. So, fun fact, everyone. I highly recommend marking these. <laughs> Heidi says if you use your glue gun, you can actually reheat your glue. What? 
without burning myself, I don't trust. Oh, 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 oh. no, just think good thoughts. Think good thoughts. Oh, it was so close. Um, Heidi, I burn myself if I'm near the glue gun and you want me to now reheat something or do you not know how accident prone I'm? Well, I guess that's no better than this knife, huh? <laughs> Let's see what will end up landing me in an ER. Ooh, ooh. Ah, that's kind of satisfying. I'm not going to lie. Well, this glue is really good, guys. Oh, your heat gun. Oh, my heat gun. That makes way more from, sense. Yeah, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Should okay. I pull, should I pull that out? No, because I just got it. We're good. We'll do it to the other one. To uh, Yeah, that one we're not going to talk about right now. Because it has me very, very sad and very, very damaged right now. <laughs> This was going so well. And now someone's texting me probably saying, do you know you're doing that wrong? <laughs> oh, yay. Okay. So this guy. So here we go. If this light's on fire, Sean, fire. Just watch what you're doing, I guess. Best advice ever. Just watch what you're doing. That's high. It's hot, believe me. You don't put it too close. You are yeah. an awesome backseat driver. You let me know when it's ready to go. Oh, it's ready. It's hot. It is? Oh, yes. Oh, got that one. Okay. Before we glue it down, Ken, let's make sure... She fits. Boy. Oh. You have to admit it's cute. It's very cute. Okay. Whew. We did it. Sean, we can do miracles. When you believe the hope is far. I don't know the words to the song. What song is this? Oh. It's from the Prince of Egypt. Hmm. Who knows what miracles you can achieve when you believe. Okay, guys, that was a little more stressful than I thought it was going to be. I was like, this is going to be easy. It's just like a puzzle. Mark your cuts. <laughs> but come on. Really? Is that not cute? How? Oh. oh sorry. I thought you were going to go. That's awesome. I love that background. That background is awesome. How do I not want to get this out? Away. That's awesome. This is like the best thing I've ever made in my entire life. I mean, it's so Let's see if it's Riley or uh, CC approved. Let me go get her. Okay. Does this scare you, CC? Does it look so realistic it scares you? <sighs> Do you like that? I know they're going to hear a little tail. It's just, hold on, hold on. I know. She's so excited. Oh, Look nice. at it. Isn't it awesome? Oh, hi. We're going to give this away tomorrow. We're I can't so even believe boring. it. Well, are we giving it away tomorrow or after all four are done? Oh. We could. Oh, no, we've cut another one of these, remember? Yeah. So, well, we're definitely doing one part and two part because that background is yeah. bomb diggity. Love the colors. I do too. Isn't that fun? I love, love it. it. So, all we need to do is put a little hanger back here. Good to go. Kate, Kate says, I'm having a beverage of choice after that solo. Dude, that. You know it. 
Okay, good news. At least I did it with my chocotor peeps that aren't judging me because if I did this in the general public on my new channel, people would be like, unsubscribed. <laughs> um, the only mistake I made is right here because I didn't, I wasn't patient. But that's an easy fix. You just yeah. put a little paint up there. You won't even know. But look at how flippin' cute that is. Why are you chewing on my thumb? I love this. Yeah. Will you go back to this camera? Sure, yeah. So I know. So this is one of those things that sometimes I tell people, like, I will sometimes explain to Sean, like, this is what I'm thinking. And literally when I told him, I said, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do the coral and then bubble wrap. He went... Have you done that before? And I said no. <laughs> he was like, "Okay." He didn't. Um, he didn't have faith in me. He said, "Are you sure you can do that?" And then I was like, "He was like, so I think he thought like it was going to be. I think you thought like I wanted to see the coral, which I didn't. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, now? I thought you wanted to see mm -mm. the coral. I'm just utilizing the coral mm -hmm. as like Texture. essentially, yeah. Texture. So I wanted the coral piece." Mm -hmm. The coral piece, see how the coral, you can see it there? Like the ends of the coral is what I really wanted. Right. So um, Leslie's asking how long did it take out? Take 12 minutes. Out? The main piece, 12 minutes? Well, the main piece is 11 and then the background. So essentially, for those that weren't here in the beginning, it cuts this whole backing sheet. That's like your table. And then all of these pieces were cut separate. So this one, which is just cutting a rectangle, took two minutes, mm -hmm. right? like a minute minute nine yeah and then this one took 11 minutes and it's cutting everything and stuff so the one thing so when i painted it i thought i was really smart and i was like you know on um when it cuts what's the top and bottom because the top will have the paper will be burnt more so i was like just don't flip it over it'll be easy but i didn't even think about left side right side like learn we all you know when we do the next one we'll you can always find a learning moment in every, I don't know. It's a quote. I think Mr. Rogers said it. I don't know. But I'm super happy with this. I think it turned out great. He was not as confident going into it. I just want you all to know that. When I told him I'm going to do coral and bubble wrap, this is literally, he was standing here cleaning. I said, Sean, I'm going to do coral and bubble wrap. And he went, have you done that before? And I said, no. And he was like, hmm. And he walked away. And then he got me my bubble wrap. And then I showed him what I was going to do actually on this board. And he went, and where's the coral going to be? <laughs> it's exactly what he said. <laughs> I, said I said, just trust my vision. And he was like, mm. <laughs> it's, it's oh my perfect. God. It's perfect. Okay. 40 are awesome. Who's 40? Everybody who turns 40 this year are awesome. All the 1980 people are. Yeah, because all the cool kids. We're turning 40 in coronavirus. What does that say for our future? CC, it's not a good future for us. You were born in coronavirus. All right, guys, we're gonna end this live. Um, yes, Ali, I am older than Ali. Okay. Two months. I got in the car first, so that's all that matters. <laughs> um, so this is super cute, right? So if you do want to see the others in the series, um, I can show you what the other ones look like. Yeah. Un momento, por favor. Uh, let's see here. There's a window open if you want to use that. Uh, nope. I want to use... One. So the final collection... There. So we did this one. This is where I got it from. Sun good. So we're going to be doing these other three. This one, this oh, one, yeah. and this one. Um on Ken's beautiful crazy life and I can't wait because yes. they are all going to have that same kind of background maybe a little different I don't know we'll see what happens in the moment we'll see what Sean does if Sean says mm, I usually know I'm on the right file so anyways I hope the mic sounded great our cameras are going to be great we almost got a divorce over them but it's fine because someone is not appreciated I'm very appreciative. Very appreciative. Very appreciative. I tried thank helping you, him you, and he says, you, you. we're not doing it that way. And I said, I'm out. <laughs> and he's going to try to defend himself, but he knows he won't win this one. Nope. <laughs> so I left him and I said, you can do it by yourself then. 
See, you guys always get the real us. There is no sugarcoating it. We have problems. We have to see a counselor. I have to see a therapist. And then we have to go through coronavirus. <laughs> yeah. And then every mics are awesome. Yeah, the, the way we sell them. We, oh, did, we did a I, test. Jill, I thought you were talking about mics for lemonade because I need one after this puzzle piece because that was stressful. Does do you, does it feel here? Hold this. Sure. Is it so authentic? It looks like we're in Hawaii right now. Mm -hmm. Right. So cute. All right, guys. So and ladies and guys and lazy ladies and guys. I don't want to get any guys and dolls. Yeah. Okay. So um, I hope you enjoyed this live tomorrow. We won't be doing a live because of camp in the car. If you want to win this piece. Um, it will be on my, uh, page tomorrow. It'll be just like we did last week. Um, we are actually making all four sets of these again for, um, our new launch and it will be a part one, part two. So it'll be part one. This is how we cut it. This is how we painted it. This is how we did it all. Part two, um, then will be the chocolate tour and stuff. I solemnly Can swear I to something? tell the truth. Nothing but so truth. all those who are asking questions about everything we did about cutting this time, Wait, when we do that, then ask all those questions. So It'll here's, be I'll be, to those. yeah, I'll be honest with you guys. So I have, it's not that I don't want to share it with you because I love it, but being part of Chalk Tour, we're independent designers, but we still have to follow certain policies and procedures. Yes. Part of that is keeping the video on Chalk Tour. So if you want to know how we got to this, mostly mm -hmm. I wanted to show you the Chalk Tour. That's why we had everything cut, painted and all that stuff. That's the reason we're launching our channel and kind of separating it is when we launch our new channel, we will have all part one. It will be from start to finish. It's going to be, this is how you cut it. This is how you do it. Blah, 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 blah. And then this would just yeah. be the truck tour. But not a new, new channel. It's a no. new name. Sorry. New name and new stuff. Yeah. So those who are already subscribed to that. So one. here, if we're looking at a world, this world is what world you're living right now. This is your realm. This is Ken's Creations Chocolate Tour. Right. This world currently is called Ken's Creations. But in the not so distant future, this is going to go from Ken's Creations to Ken's Beautiful, Beautiful crazy, crazy Life. Right. Same channel, same everything, just rebranded. Yep. Um, when's the launch? I wanted to have it up by next week. Um, but the cameras today kind of got us behind a day. Just a little bit. Because we spent a good four or five hours almost getting a divorce. And just so you guys know, this is how feisty I usually am, but I, I have been so overwhelmed these past that I'm not feisty again. I just freaking, you know, do my lives. And now that I'm excited about where my everything's going, <laughs> back to being feisty. I got my purple juice. By the way, this shirt or stars, not polka dots. Somebody said, I love your polka dots, but they're actually stars. You like, can't see them. I can zoom in. On my fat? No, thank you. Stars. <gasps> oh, my stars. Oh, look at that. What? Look at that realness. Now you can see one of the microphones. Here's one. Okay, of guys, this is what I'm going to tell you. And there's the other this one. is why you need to buy your transfers. This retired. Can't get it no more. Nope. Bye bye. What else retired back here? I think that might be it. My modern floral. Everything happens for a reason. I was going to do the background in modern flower. It's the modern floral, mm -hmm. but it's out of stock and I hate showing stuff that's out of stock. So I decided to do the coral. That's when I got the. Have you done that before? And I'm like, Sean, it's going to be great. Coral bubble wrap. And he's like, mm hmm. And he walks away. <laughs> He needs to learn from Allie. What I do is I say, Allie, we're going to do coral and bubble wrap. And she's like, that's going to be beautiful. And she yes. walks away. That is what you need to do. Jasmine does the same thing. Everything. I could be like, we're going to take a poop on it. And Jasmine's like, beautiful. Do it. It's awesome. amazing. <laughs> Not Sean. <laughs> Sean's sister is like. Mm. <laughs> but you know, I, the, what? I could sell this at Disney. I'm just saying. Oh, I could. I'm going to put this in the Trader Joe Tiki Disneyland Enchanted Room. Yeah. Is Modern Floral going away? It's already retired. 
I don't think you can even get it. I you think it's can't. out of stock. It's out of it. stock. It's not even on the website. Nope. It's on the retired list. That's what I'm saying. So what I personally, I don't know this to be fact. I don't know this to be true. But what I think happened is coronavirus. And so all these people were at home with nothing to do. So what do they do? They go shop for transfers <laughs> and they're all gone. Like mm -hmm. so much stuff is retiring that like, I just log on. I'm like, oh, now that's gone. That's gone. So um, I don't, it's not going to come back. But good thing is, we go back to this camera. I, If I would have done modern floral, I would not have done the coral and I would not have done the bubble wrap. And that is what made this background. It looks kind of like an Ewok. Oh my gosh, we could do a <laughs> like Star those, Wars version of this. Awesome Ewok. If you could just tweak it here and there, yeah. Okay, yeah. So, all right. So this is... This is done. This is when I die. This is gonna probably go for twenty nine dollars somewhere in the clearance section. Twenty four ninety nine. Actually, I think they do twenty four ninety eight. I think ninety eight. I don't know. It's probably not even gonna be in the clearance section. It's gonna be one of the things that they just throw in the dumpster behind and write off as a damaged product. <laughs> Kate is correct. She delivered it all. What? She delivered all this. Oh, yeah. All this stuff, yeah. Every time we do packages, we make sure and then yeah. we, we try to help up. her. Yeah. We didn't help her today, though, because I was editing a video. So she had to pick up four packages. So Club Couture members get excited. Your packages went out today. So, all right, guys. Well, we love all of you. I love this. I will, once again, this will be up tomorrow at about 9 a.m. Um, so check for it then. And then in about a week when we launch this on the new channel, we'll have the series of four, all part ones and two. So check back then. I think so too. We could do a Star Wars Ewok. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Love it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely love it. Okay, now he's overdoing it. Now he's just doing an Ali Desmond. That's perfect. Everything's perfect. It's just fine. I love it. This is what 20 years does. Do the mics sound good? Everybody says I'm going to let you know as soon as this live ends and I clean up, he is going to be on this live listening to the whole thing. So I get to relive this all over again. Just bits and pieces of it. So, all right. Love you guys. We'll see you very, very soon. Bye, everybody.